Hey, what's up everybody? This is John Ragazzino here, your host of Southside Garden Supplies. Watch and know before you grow. We're about to cruise down to the original location of Southside. Off Old Seward Highway, we're gonna pick up everything we need to build an aero cloner today. All right, so we made it. We're at the original location of Southside Garden Supply. This is on Old Seward Highway, just south of the Huffman Roundabout. We're gonna pick up some sprayers. We're gonna pick up a pump. We're gonna pick up a timer. We're also gonna pick up some Clonex solution to go into our reservoir. And we're gonna pick up a couple other items. Let's go inside. Okay, so we found the right section. We need to pick up some sprayers. We need to pick up a pump. They're right here. These are the sprayers that I like to get. These are 360 degree sprayers. You can use 20 gallons per hour approximately for these. So that means that you need to get a 400 gallon per hour pump. You're gonna run 20, 200 gallons if you're gonna run 10, so on and so forth. Okay, so I found the pumps. I'm gonna get a little bigger pump than I need today. I'm gonna get a 400 gallon per hour pump, even though I'm only gonna run 10 sprayers. That's a bit of an overkill. But the reason why I do that is just in case I want to add some additional sprayers down the road, I can do so. Other nice thing about these active aqua pumps is you can actually dial them down so that they have less than what they are. So maximum 400 gallons per hour, but you can dial it down to less than 100 gallons per hour if you want to. We're going to show you how all that works when we unbox this and start putting it together. All right, so we're heading over to a different section of the store. We're going to get collars for these things. These are neoprene collars. They're right over here. You can get any color you want. I like to use different colors to mark my different strains. We need to look over here and we're going to try and find some net cups that are going to fit these. These ones are nice, solid, sturdy net cups. This is what you want to have as well. I'm going to get 35 of these because the tote that I found has 35 slots. Okay, one more thing. This stuff's really great. I run 150 milliliters for about 10 gallons of water of Clonex solution. It's a rooting hormone. It's going to make it so that you can root a little bit faster. I recommend that you get some for your cloner as well. Alright, so if you're using an aero cloner, you're going to want to pH the water in your reservoir to approximately 5.8. So if you don't have pH up, pH down, and some sort of monitor for it, you're going to make sure to want to pick some of that up. This is a great option for you. These are very cheap. It has a monitor kit that's a manual monitor, keep in mind, and it also has some up and some down with you. The digital options are much better, and if you're gonna be growing, I recommend that you get into a digital pH monitor. We'll cover those in another episode. All right, so I found a timer that's gonna work for us. This one here is the Spartan Series by Titan Controls Adjustable Recycle Timer. This one goes down to one minute as the lowest time setting that you wanna have for it on. It goes up to 60 minutes for off. I recommend that you run at least one minute on and four minutes off. Another common setting, if you can use it with your timer, is 80 seconds on and eight minutes off. All right, another optional item for your cloner would be to run a little bit of H2O2 in there as well. I like to put some H2O2 in my cloner because it makes it so I can run a little bit higher temperatures without having to worry about any sort of root rot issues. This is the stuff that I like to use. They've got it down here at the south side location. It's really good stuff. And like I said, you can run a little higher temperatures without having to worry about it. Okay, so we got everything we needed to from Southside. I'm gonna run to the hardware store real quick and pick up a couple other items. I'm gonna give you guys a list of what you need from Southside. I'm gonna give you the list of what you need to get from the hardware store. Then we should link back up and put this thing together for part two of how to build your very own aero cloner. This is John Ragazzino, your host of Southside Garden Supplies. Watch and know before you grow. Signing off, see you next time.